Welcome back to Japan, where today I've got a strange one, um, and I'd love if some of the fans can get in here and tell me what this is about. This is apparently a song by the idol formerly known as Lady Baby. Now, Lady Baby were the band who I reviewed before, who, I think two girls doing a really interesting mixture of metal and uh, pop, which was advanced by a, a, a growling guy in a maid's outfit. And then I found out later that that apparently was called Lady Beard. So it was Lady Beard, then Lady Baby, and now the artist formerly known as Lady Baby. Um, as I said before, I was really interested just at how fun the idea had um, came across. And I wasn't sure how legitimate they actually considered themselves to be. So now not knowing what's going on, the name for this, even the artist's name looks funny. And this is called Easter Bunny. So... All bets are off. I'm just going to dive in and see what I think of this, but I am really looking forward to being shocked, if nothing else. So here we go. see the guy in this one but the the melody is great and there's a really fun idea for a video so far I, i'm really interested to see what this rivalry progresses into gonna happen I just know it Interesting. 
Okay. Um, well, first of all, I, I was expecting, because of the way that the video was ramping up at the beginning, I was expecting something more to come of the, the insanity uh, of their rivalry by the end, where um, they were, I noticed at the end, they're throwing around the eggs, which is a lovely idea, but have you noticed in that entire video, you didn't, as far as I'm aware, you didn't see an egg break once. In fact, when they were throwing around at the end, they seemed to bounce. I was like, are these really eggs? You've gone from using real eggs to not using eggs. Is the budget tight on this video? Anyway, um, <laughs> let's move on from that. It's actually a really fun video. I like the way it was done, like the whole feel of it. Now, musically, I actually really enjoyed that. Um, I was saying about the last one, I really loved the way that they fused pop and uh, metal together to produce something quite interesting. There, the, the whole backing, especially in some of the verses, it was so... Um, intricate with the guitar and the way everything moved that it almost sounded like um, actually like a Queen song and then you had the chorus which was more of your traditional sort of uh, fun poppy uh, chorus I guess you could say it's a bit J-pop maybe a bit 80s um, yeah that was just really good is it the most catchy and infectious song ever? probably not um, I'd be surprised if I remember that melody by tomorrow but it was really fun it was really good um, it was just it seemed to be good spirited um, the metal growling bit was in there. I was saying the guy doesn't appear to be in this anymore. I haven't followed, I haven't really read what the situation is with them, and I don't know if he's still in the band. Um, but he didn't appear in that at all. Um, and his voice didn't really seem necessary because it was all the way through. And I thought just like on little bits that would have been okay, but having it all the way through was a bit much of what, 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 just. It didn't really need to be there for the entire length of the song. So that was maybe one slight downside, but as a general, that was good. It was fun. The The music was much better than I think it needed to be. It didn't need to be that good. So, you know, credit to them. There does seem to be a real focus on producing good songs. So I was saying, are they legitimate or are they a comedy artist before? And I, I'm still kind of torn on what it is because the music they're producing is... You know, the first one had fantastic production values. This one's got really nice writing values. Um, yeah, I guess this is time when I really need the fans to get in here and um, give me some comments on uh, what the hell that is. But all I can really say, I was quite impressed with that. It was definitely a lot of fun, cheered up my day. So uh, looking forward to hearing more. Anyway, have a lovely day and I'll see you next time you want to join me in Japan. Assuming you subscribe YouTube stuff. Ciao for now.